we present Neural Texture Puppeteer, published in the WACV 2024 workshop called Computer Vision with Small Data, a focus on infants and endangered animals. Tracking is a crucial task in many vision applications, ranging from sports to the study of collective behavior, where re-identification is important to keep track of individuals. On the other hand, Neural rendering is a vast field of research and brought a big boost to many vision applications. With that in mind, we developed Neural Texture Puppeteer. As a basis, we make use of Neural Puppeteer, a flexible and efficient neural rendering pipeline. Our key idea is to disentangle geometry and texture. We show that the new pipeline can be used in a downstream task to identify individuals. Neural Puppeteer renders color and depth maps and masks given 3D key points. Instead of rendering color maps, we render something that we call NNOPCS maps that contain the geometric information about the object. NNOPCS stands for Normalized Neutral Object Pose in Coordinate Space. We define a neutral pose where the color at each point uniquely describes this point. Please note that our NNOPCS maps can be viewed as an extension of the NOCS maps published in CVPR 2019. We achieve accurate results for novel pose synthesis as you can see. This is important to achieve accurate texture reconstructions, as we will see now. The NNOPCS map, together with a color map, are input to our texture pipeline. A texture encoder computes a global texture embedding regularized by the Kullback label loss, while the decoder reconstructs the color map. Here are results including novel pose and view synthesis and a plot of the global texture embedding of all 12 distinct cow textures for a framework called Trans3ID and our pipeline, which shows that both methods can be used in a downstream task to identify individuals. The nice thing about our model is that we can perform a zero-shot synthetic to real-world domain shift, which we show with a real-world cow. This makes our model interesting for applications where data is limited and synthetic data can be generated using Blender. You can check out our code by scanning the QR code. Thank you.